Je parlais beaucoup de français. Comme si, comme ça. Today on the Edgy Veg, I'm going to show you how to make peanut butter and jelly French toast. Because vegans like brunch too, and normal French toast is just kind of boring. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button for more brunch recipes just like this. Let's do it. For the egg part of our French toast, we are going to replicate like that like eggy creaminess that we're going to dip our bread in um, using tofu. So using a food processor, we are going to toss in our silken tofu. Use the softest tofu that you can find. Silken is the best. We're going to mix that with some almond milk or soy milk. Then we're going to add our nutritional yeast for like that eggy, like rich butter flavor. Some coconut sugar, vanilla for some flavor and sweetness a little bit of vegan butter, and we're gonna mix that all together. It's gonna make a really rich, creamy, yummy coating for our bread. It's like decadent and indulgent. It's not like some like healthy version of French toast. Because you know what? If I want French toast, I want like as authentic to French toast and rich and delicious as possible. For our bread, I decided to use a really good hearty uh, loaf of sourdough bread. I love this bread the best. It's fluffy. You can use whatever bread you like. If you are really against using white flour, use whole grain, that's fine. But for this, I wanted to make it as authentic as possible, so I'm using this lovely sourdough bread. Now what we're going to do for our peanut butter and jelly French toast is make a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't need to really tell you how to do this. Everybody knows how to do this. For the peanut butter, I decided to use this vegan maple bacon flavored peanut butter. I don't know if it tastes like bacon, but whatever it is, it's delicious. But you can use whatever natural peanut butter that you want. And for the jelly, just or an organic raspberry jam. And then we are going to dip our peanut butter and jelly sandwich into our egg-like mixture. And I would let it sit there for like one to two minutes just so it, the bread absorbs all the eggy mixture. And then we're gonna toss it into a frying pan and it's going to fry with lots of vegan butter and it's gonna be nom, 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 yummy. Et voila, le brunch est servi. There you have it. Easy peanut butter and jam French toast. Personally, I love that it's just like a fried PB and J sandwich. I think that's amazing. I'd like to try some. Mm. Okay. Mmm. Carnivore approved? Definitely carnivore approved. Does it taste exactly like French toast? Except a little bit more PB and J y. Yeah. <laughs> So guys, if you like this recipe, make sure that you give the video a big thumbs up so we know to make more brunch breakfast content for you. Who doesn't love brunch? Right? If you want more recipes like this, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. Also, letting us know what kind of recipes you want to see. And if you haven't already subscribed, you should subscribe because you get delicious vegan videos like this twice a week. Right? Why wouldn't you subscribe? I already am subscribed. Right? I'm also already subscribed. <laughs> anyway, happy brunching, happy mimosaing, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Then, when we're done, we should have the perfect crunchy, salty bacon substitute. I think this is the closest thing that I have found yet, and it's great because if you like leave it in a Tupperware, it gets soft.